before we move on, I want to introduce you to the very important concept of locomotion. Uh, what is that? So to illustrate, I made this little simulation. And you can see when you're walking here, it's using a constant speed and the feet are sliding. It, it doesn't look very good. Could try to just change the speeds. I have this gate speed here. So maybe I set it to one instead. It looks a little bit better, it's still sliding, but I mean, it's possible if you have a constant speed in a clip, there will be a speed that will match it, even if it's a bit tricky to get there. But at the same time, as soon as you have variation of the speed in the clip, it won't work anymore. You can see that if we go to this idle to walk. So in this one, the speed is ramping up. And obviously whatever we do, we can't get this to work with a constant speed. Obviously these are not good solutions. So we want to record the actual forward motion from a clip. If you go out to these mockup IP3, by default is in the middle because it's in place, but you can uncheck this and now suddenly hit move forward until the clip is over. Uh, so let's go and just uncheck this for all of them. And if we go into the clip node again and then do a reload, we can see now he's moving correctly, even though he starts as the origin after each cycle. And it's the same thing if we would go into uh, this simulation and go to the beginning and say, I, I, now I'm gonna remove the gate speed because I'm just gonna have the motion that we have within the clips. We can see it looks good, but it's gonna transition back to where he started after each cycle. So this is not great. And why does this happen by the way? And this is happening if we turn on point positions you can see the point positions are not moving. So what's happening is that the rig is walking away from the point position. And then when it's start over again, it's just gonna start at the beginning of the clip. Every frame has a fixed position within the clip. So the solution to this is locomotion. So the idea with locomotion is you take a part of the rig that is driving the forward motion, and usually that is the hips, and then you strip out the forward motion. You don't want to strip out the Y motion, for example, because often the hips are moving up and down and you don't want to remove that motion. So you just want to remove the forward motion. And then you take that motion and store that in a locomotion channel. So what you're going to have is the agent centered to the origin, but the motion from the clips is stored in this locomotion channel. Then you use that locomotion channel to drive the point position. So that means that the point position will go forward, but when it starts over again, it's just gonna keep being at this point and then it's gonna keep driving forward. So let's see how we do that. So if I go to the agent clips, I have this locomotion settings. So create locomotion joint. And like I said, most of the time it's the hips. So here I'm selecting the hips. And then I'm also, I also want to center the clip. So I'm gonna to convert to in-place animation and I need to do that on all clips. So by doing that, you see, once again, the agent is in the origin, but now if I want to check my locomotion, I can check this apply clip locomotion and voila, he is moving forward. Now, obviously we need to blend the clip. The clip itself looks a bit weird to loop, but you can see that the point position is moving forward. And you can have that in the simulation as well. If we go here, I would set this type to locomotive. And if I play that, you can see the point position is moving forward and everything is in sync and there's no foot sliding. 